Hey, it's Jim Wood with your 90 Seconds of Wisdom. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about communication. We're talking about expectations. I find a lot of times that parents who are parents of older children, so like the parents are in their 50s and 60s, like me, closer to, you know, late 50s, um, and the kids are like in their 20s and 30s, there's not a lot of communication about what kind of support there might be there. It's a lot of ambiguity. I think the parents are worried that the kids are going to get too much uh, information and the kids are kind of like, they don't want to ask because they don't think it's their place to ask. But what I encourage you and anybody to do is if you're a parent, if you're a parent of an older adult, communicate to your kids what you're willing to do for them or not do for them. And if that means nothing, that's fine. That's a perfectly uh, viable answer. But they need to know that. And if you think that you're going to pay for your grandchildren's education and you're going to give them money for a house and all that, you need to let them know that, too, because they have to make financial decisions based on what their resources are. And on the kid's side, you know, as much as you can, you need to let your parents know, like, what am I going to need to do in terms of supporting you? Like, do you have money to pay for long term care? Do you have enough for retirement? Am I going to be supporting you in some way? There's a lot of com- confusion there. It's because people are afraid to to make those connections. So what I would say is that both sides need to make those uh, those conversations because guess what? It's not happening now. So think about that. All right, have a great day.